Hey everybody, greetings from the dank basement. This is your wicked Uncle Squinty. My reviews have been getting a little long, so I'm going to try to do this one quickly. But I don't know if I'll be able to, because I love talking about Molens, De Kralings, Snuffs. And today we're looking at their Choco. Choco Snuff. Mmm, chocolate. Who does not like chocolate? If you do not like chocolate, shut this damn review off and go look at porn. Or go watch Tony Snuff. It's almost as good. Um, well, if you're trying to compare this to the Dalakia Swiss chocolate, you will either be thrilled or disappointed. This isn't as chocolatey as the Dalakia Swiss chocolate, for example. But it does have something pretty spectacular that the Dalakia does not. And that is its carefully crafted, semi-coarsely ground Dutch tobacco base, which is really amazing. It's really delightful. Now, I do have a problem in general with Molens snuffs from the Netherlands, and that is they tend to plug up my nose pretty quickly. And this Choco is no exception. Here, let's take a whiff of it out of the container. Yeah, it's chocolatey. You don't get that, I just opened a tin of Hershey's cocoa powder smell, like you do get from the Dalakia, but the chocolate is definitely there. It is coarsely ground, or semi-coarsely ground. Not quite to the Schmalzler grind, but it's pretty coarse. And let's take a little pincherito. World's worst snuffing technique demonstrated every review by your Uncle Squinty, but it gets it up there. All right. On first sniff, the chocolate is not as strong as the Dalakia Swiss chocolate, nor is it as sweet. But as I said on the plus side, you get the base tobacco aroma very clearly, and it's a nice tobacco. You also get a little salt in there. I'm noticing a little taste of salt starting to drip down the back of my tongue. Um, again, you can hear it in my nose, and you're already getting clogged up. Oh, what are you going to do? I mean, it's delightful, but for me, at least for my nose, plugs me up like a cork. Uh, and that's true of many of the Molens snuffs. So what's a fella going to do? Hang on a second. I'm so sorry about this. I know it's disgusting, but I got to do it. Yeah. On a scale of one to five, where one is you gotta have, or one is you, you gotta avoid it, and five is you gotta have it, simply because of the clog factor, I gotta give this a three. If I was rating this strictly on aroma, permanence of scent, pleasantness, uh, nicotine level, it'd all be at a four. But unless you're very careful with this, you're gonna plug your nose up like you've been snorting concrete, which is a problem. So what do we do? Well, of course, the traditional thing to do would be to put a little menthol up your nose to blow those sinuses back open. To that end, I have something here. This is not a tobacco snuff. This is a non-tobacco sniffing powder. This is also from Mullins. This is called mentholin. mentholin. Um, I've reviewed this before, and I like this very much, but it looks terrible. Everybody tells me that it's the color of wet gray cardboard. And it's not a tobacco snuff at all. It's a non-tobacco sniffing powder with a lot of menthol, but also a lot of really good coffee scent to it. I'm going to take a little bump of this. Now, as I said, I've already reviewed this. and I gave it a five out of five, I think, at the time, because it's it was, at the time, to me, unique. Herschel had not yet released their Grotto coffee snuff, which does have a lot of uh, menthol in it. And I was fairly new to snuffing when I tried this for the first time. Yeah, a couple minutes of this up my nose and another good blow, and I should be all set to go. Um... 
This is really good for those times when you want to sniff, but you don't want the nicotine. You want the coffee scent, which is very strong once the menthol subsides, and it's quite good. It's quite delicious. And yeah, it's starting to make things juice. Yeah. Burning a little bit up in the nose. Sorry, I gotta do it again. Excuse me. <laughs> Dang. Yikes. Ugh, that one almost made me cry. Ugh. And it is opening my nostrils. Wipey, wipey. I hope I don't just start developing these massive snotter falls while we're sitting here and be all disgusting and stuff. Um, I like the Mullins, uh uh, mentholin very, very much, as I said. It does have a great coffee scent underneath all that menthol. And there's a lot of menthol. A lot. So what is a boy going to do? Well, a boy is going to take his tight back container. He's going to mix the Choco 2 to 1 with the DeCrawling's mentholin non-tobacco sniffing powder. It will look terrible. It will look like something that emerged from the back end of your dog after it ate the wrong thing. But it smells like chocolate and coffee. I'm going to do a pinch. My right nostril, I'm sorry, my left nostril is a little less clogged right now than my right. You see, that's good. When you mix the mentholin, uh, a little mentholin, into the choco snuff, it doesn't clog up your nose quite as badly. You get the chocolate aroma, you get the coffee aroma, so you're sort of getting a mentholized mocha, for want of a better term, and it's very good. I'll rate my own mix at a four. It still could use some work, um, but I like it very much. So to recap quickly, I wasn't going to review the mentholin, but as long as I've got it in my hand, I'll say it again. If you're looking for a non-tobacco sniffing powder. If you like the scent of coffee, if you like a lot of menthol, you're going to love the mentholin from DeCrawling's Molens. And if you're looking for a choco snuff that gives you tobacco in equal measure with your, your chocolate scent, avoid the Swiss chocolate from Delacchia. Get this instead. This is the Molens DeCrawling's Choco. Not a bad chocolate snuff. I just don't like it for the clog factor, and that's why it only gets a three. Uh, on its own merits, if it didn't clog me up quite so bad, it would at least rate a four, which is why I bought this immense tub of it. I really like this. From the dank basement, this is your wicked Uncle Squinty, and my God, look at the time. We've run long again, but thanks for watching.